Okay. So about the next topic that is collection and preservation of drugs. Okay. So, so far we have seen from the pharmacogonancy, what are the sources we have? And we have seen a glance of some important uh, sources like uh, animal sources, vegetable sources, then man-made sources, then synthetic sources, that is totopathy, then imponderablia, and then about the no-sorts, arcodes, and uh, bubble no-sorts, and other uh, no-sorts. So these things have been seen already. And, and uh, continuing with that part, that is the collection and preservation of drugs. So once we know the source, then we have to know how to collect and how to preserve the things, okay? So that is the collection and preservation of drug is nothing but the other exotic plants, barks, seeds and roots that cannot be obtained in the fresh state. The sensible practitioner will never taken in the pulverized form on trust. So but it will first convince himself of their genuineness in the crude form and the end state before making any medicinal employment of them. So this is the aphorism uh, definition or that this is the thing is mentioned by Dr. Hanneman in the aphorism 268 about the collection and preservation of drugs. So he is telling clearly that the exotic plants, drugs, seeds, roots that cannot be obtained in the fresh state, right? So any sensible practitioner will take an, uh, will never take it in the pulverized form on trust. So but we have to, before that we have some genuineness in their crude form and entire state before making any medicinal employment of them. So this is the aphorism 268. Hanuman has talked about the collection and preservation of drugs. So how to preserve the whole plant? That is the thing we are going to see. Collected in the flowering season. So the whole plant will be mostly collected in the flowering season and that should be also partially in flower and partially in a bud and mainly that has been taken during a sunny weather. So how to collect a whole plant that is mainly collected in a flowering season when we have to collect the uh, plants during the flowering, flowering season and that is not completely too flowery or too buddy. It's in, the, it's in the middle of the state that is when partially in the flower and partially in the bed that during the sunny weather, that's the important of the collection and preservation of the whole plant. Then about the annual roots, how to collect this one? That's collected in the early, early in autumn, okay, since they die after the ripening of seeds. So it has been collected mainly in the early in autumn. And why? Because means that will be die after the ripening of seeds. So once the seeds has been ripened, it will be die. So we are to prevent that we have to collect in the early autumn. Okay. In autumn, the plant is inactive and the vegetative process has been stopped and thus it contain maximum percentage of active constant. See how beautifully Hanuman has the direction for each and everything now when to collect, how to collect. It's the uniqueness of homeopathy. So in annual root, it's collected in the early autumn so keep remember uh, remembering this point that is the annual that is an a and the uh, autumn no so it's an annual roots are collected in the autumn so it's a seeming that a a so keep the point like this like this and then remember this uh, then it is then why because mean in the particular state the plant is in active form that is an inactive form so it will not uh, having so much of uh, things uh, so it will be in the inactive form their originality has been preserved that is main, mainly the component that the active constants ought to be preserved so we are collecting supposed to collect that annual roots of medicine from this particular time. Then about the biennial roots that is collected in the spring of the second year. Okay. Then perennial roots that is collected in the second or third year before they develop the woody fibers. Then stem which is collected after the development of leaves. So when the leaves is there, the stem is fully matured, right? And so at that time only the stem part is has to be collected, okay? Then about the herbs, how to collect the herbs that collected when they are fully developed should be cut just above the roots, okay? So herbs will be collected when they are fully developed 
and should be cut in just above the roots. It will not take that means with the root will not be needed. Just we need the herbs as a fully developed one. So whenever the while considering the whole plant or the whole uh, herbs, whenever it's fully developed, only it will get a maximum number of good medicinal properties. So it has been cut just. Above the roots are root, okay. Then young shoots that is collected mainly in spring, and then and the when the whole plant is full vigor, okay. Then leaves leaves is collected just before and during the early part of flowering time. So that uh, leaves has to be collected just before the flowering time. That's the initial period of the flowering time, or the initial just prior the initial period of the for flowering time and the leaves of biennial plants are collected in the spring of the mm -hmm. second year as soon as the the whole plant is mainly collected in the flowering season okay and mainly in the sunny weather and the whole plant is not completely collected uh, the, during the entire flowering stage or in the uh, flowering stage but it could be in the partially in the flowering stage and partially in the budding stage that is the that is how the whole plant get collected then annual root and annual root as i told aa so annual roots are collected mainly in the autumn season okay uh, why because at that time only the plant is in active form and it has more vegetative uh, uh, process will be stopped at that time. So it contains the maximum percentage of active constituents. So these are about the whole plant and the annual root. Then about the bi uh, biennial roots that has been collected in the by means two. So they collected in the spring season of the second year. Then perennial is collected in the second or the third year before they developed into a woody fibers then stem it max, maximally collected after the development of leaves okay and then as uh, as we already discussed this also herbs that means also collected when they are fully developed and should be cut just above the roots then young shoots is mainly collected in the spring season okay and then leaves it should be collected just before or during the early part of the flowering time so leaves of binomial plants, as we have uh, studied there, the biennial uh, the biennial plants has been collected in the second year of second year as soon as the flowering and stem begin to shoot. So these are the different types, uh, different part or the source we have to collect when to collect them. Our uh, perfect collection time for our medication. That's the or the preparation of medicine. This the things has been given very detailly. And then twigs, how uh, how we can collect the twigs? Twigs has been collected of a present year growth only, okay? And at the time, once it grows, we have to collect the present year. Then bulbs, it collected in the partially in the bud and partially in the blossom in a dry weather. So all the bulbs of the plants has been collected in the partial bud group or partially in the balls, blossom or in the, mainly in the dry weather. Then fruits and seeds has been collected as soon as they mature when the leaves begin to decay. So once uh, fruits are uh, uh, like the, when, the fru uh, when the seed is fully developed and the fruit has been uh, fully furnished, furnished means we can collect the time where the leaves has been matured and it's about to die at that time, no? Mature when the leaves is begin to decay. That's the thing important. So fruits and seeds are collected as soon as they mature and when they leaves is begin to decay. That's the important point. Okay. Then collected in when they are fully ripe or when they collected in the fully ripe time or succulent fruits or seeds or berries should be used while fresh and only dried fruits and seeds are. Okay, so only dried fruits and seeds or berries must be stored in well glass closed container. Okay, so this is the thing. So fruits and seeds has been collected as soon as they mature and when the leaves begin to decay. That's the first point. And then also collected when they are fully ripe. Okay, when the uh, 
fruits or seeds are well uh, fully ripe at that time also we can collect and the succulent fruits have, or the seeds of berries should be used while in freshy freshy time so in the particularly the succulent fruits is the for succulent fruits and seeds of the particular source has been used in the fresh fresh uh, form and then only dried fruits and seeds or berries may be stored in the well closed glass container so this is the thing then about the collection and preservation of animal kingdom so so far we have seen how to collect the plant uh, plant things like one by one from the whole plant then about the annual roots then biennial roots then perennial roots and then stems and then herbs then young shoots then leaves twigs bulbs fruits and seeds so among this whole plant is collected in the during sunny weather okay and it's mainly in the flowering season where it's partially flower or partially in bud in annual root it's collected in the early autumn why because at that time only the vegetative process has been stopped so it contain maximum percentage of active constituents and then biennial it's collected in the spring of the second year perennial it's collected in the second or third year before they develop into woody fibers and the stem collected after the development of leaves herbs that has been when they are fully developed should be cut just above the root then young shoot that has been collected in the spring and when the whole plant is in a full vigor at that time only we have to collect the young shoots then leaves it just collected before and during an early part of the flowering time okay the leaves has been collected just before and during the early part of the flowering time then about the twigs has been collected in the present years of growth only then bulb that has been collected partially in the bud and partially in the balsam and mainly in the dry weather and the fruit and seeds has been collected once they mature and when the leaf is uh, about to decay or begin to decay and collected in the uh, collected when they are fully ripe also and among that succulents fruit and seeds has been uh used in a fresh thing okay it has been collected in a fresh fresh state and only dried fruits and seeds had been stored in a well closed glass container then about the collection and preservation of animal kingdom so how the animal kingdoms has been collected and animal kingdoms of uh, sources has been collected and preserved that the thing so venoms the venoms are obtained from the serological laboratories or quickly dried and freezed and preserved in the glycerin so the snake venom sorry whatever it may be the venoms that mainly obtained from the serological laboratories okay so they have the tendency that is quickly dry and freezed so we have to preserve in the glycerin so how the venom is preserved in uh, preserved for the preparation of homeopathic medicine okay then elaps elaps this venom is collected by compressing a butter plate okay against the fungus or by letting the snake bite through a cloth and covering a wide mouth bottle so the elaps venom is collected by compressing a butter plate against the fungus or by letting the snake bite through the cloth covering a wide mouth bottle and then lacus is the living snake is stunted with a blow so see here the living snake is stunted with the blow and then the venom is collected on the sugar of milk by pressing the poison okay by pressing the poison fung upwards against the back so the venoms that is obtained from the serological laboratories are quickly to have the tendency to quickly dry so that has been freezed and preserved in glycerin and the elaps coralinus this has been uh, collected by compressing the butter plate against the fungus or by letting the snake bite through a cloth covering in a covering a wide mouth bottle the lacus is the living snake is stunted with a blow okay then the venom is collected on the sugar of milk by pressing the poison fung upwards against the back 
bag. So this is the method of collection of uh, uh, sources from for elapse and the lacuses. So next about the protalus, naja, and vipera. So these three venoms are produced by compressing the gland when the serpent is either pinoid in a frame or under the influence of chloroform. So only these three medicines has med uh, the medicines uh, sources of uh, venom is been taken under the influence of chloroform. Then before honor, the live animal is fastened to slab of frog by four strong pin stuck through the webs of feet and the poles of an induction apparatus in an action are slowly drawn over the back of the animal where upon the poison is so very soon issued from the dorsal gland. So in the buforana, this has been collected from the live animal, so live animal and it's the fastened to slab the frog by four strong pin and which is struck through the webs of their feet, okay? Then the poles of induction apparatus is in action or slowly drawn over the back of the animal. Then from the dorsal gland, the poison has been collected. Then about the candaris. In May or June, see, in candaris, there is a particular month has been mentioned that is May or June when the inse insects are swarm upon the trees and they are collected in the morning at the sunrise. It's not about evening or night. It's it's about the, they are collecting that source from the sunlight, so, so, so sunrise and mainly in the morning when they are tropoid from the cold of nightly night and easily let it go their hold. So at that time, it can be easily taken up. So candaris has been, uh, so candaris source has been obtained from May or June when the insect is swarm upon the trees and they are collected in the morning, mainly at the sunrise. And when they are tropoid, drop it from the cold of night and easily let it go their hold. Okay, this is the thing about the candaris. Then the person, so... So it is some, you know that, no? So it have, you have to, the person who are collecting this have to or need to take some precaution. So what they are, the precaution they are taking. The person with their face is protected by mask, first of all, and their hand with the gloves and shakes the tree or bead with the poles. So it has been, the tree has been shaked, okay? Then the insect are collected as they fall upon the linen cloth spread underneath. So before that, they will spread the linen cloth and the person has been uh, going in the early morning before the at, the at the time of sunrise, mainly in the month of June or May. And he'll shake that uh, tree. So the insect in that will be fall down in the under the linen cloth, which is spread. And they are exposed in the Swiss to vapor of boiling vinegar. Then they are taken in the Swiss into the boiling vinegar and having been thus deprived of life or dried in the sun or in apartment head by the stoves. So they are then, uh, they are taking that Swiss in the vapor of boiling vinegar and uh, then they make it dry in the sun or in the apartment. That means that uh, in the apartment of stoves either in the natural form sunlight or they have been some heating process. Then about the doctrine of signature. So as everyone know, no, we have some similar, uh, similar symptom which have similar, sorry, similar quality which having the uh, tendency to produce a similar set of symptoms. For example, we'll be seeing. So the relation between the drug symptoms. It's it, it, it was in, uh, advocated or it has been introduced by parcels, okay? So, belladonna, which is grow in a soil rich in calcium. So, belladonna is a plant which has been growing in a soil which is rich in calcium. So, it became a complementary. That is, calcarea carb became a complementary to belladonna or vice versa. This is the doctrine of signature. Then about the terendula. So terendula is a spider that comes out when drums are beaten. 
so terendula patients are sensitive to music so this is the doctrine of signature okay then digitalis may be of use in the blood disease as it's a flowers are adorned with blood color dots the digitalis flowers has been look like a blood color dots so it may be useful in the blood diseases then ephrasia ephrasia is anciently good remedy for eyes as it has a black spot in the corolla that look like a pupil so uh, in the presence of that pupil like appearance it is seen considering and clinically proven that ephrasia has been good remedy for eyes then hypericum it's something like having hypericum is having a red juice okay so it may be useful in the case of hemorrhages that is also very important so as i told they had the explanation of digitalis see digitalis may be used in the blood disease as it has flowers or are drawn with the blood colored dots ephrasia is ephrasia leaf that ephrasia has some black spot in the corolla that is look like a pupil so it has the good action in the remedy uh, good action in the eyes and it has been clinically also proved that ephrasia is a very good eye remedy then hypericum having a red juice so it may be useful in the case of hemorrhages and it is also one of the hemorrhagic remedy then the plants are collected in the damp weather rainy season in evening as as it possesses more medicinal property so they are also have some uh, similar connection with modalities so plants are collected mainly in damp weather okay rainy season evening so it also possesses some medicinal property and which is having the influence on modalities also so bryonia is prepared from the root and which is a fleshy yellow white in color and rough with acidic and bitter taste so bryonia patient is also fleshy with yellowish coated tongue with rough irritating temperament and this processing bitter taste in mouth so bryonia is prepared from the root okay so here comes the doctrine of signature already as a doctrine of signature as well as the part it's prepared from okay so the plan the part used for the bryonia preparation white in color and rough with acidic and bitter taste so similarly the bryonia patient is also fleshy with yellowish white coated tongue okay then rough irritating temperament and processing a bitter taste in mouth and the drug is prepared from the yellow flowers of chelidonium so this is talking about the remedy chelidonium so the drug is prepared from the yellow flowers so yellow the chelidonium flowers look like uh, it's yellow in color so it has an it assume or it has an action uh, doctrine of signature that it will be acting good on jaundice and it has been clinically proved also and the night blooming cures that is the doctrine of signature related to nocturnal aggravation of all symptoms so so far we have seen that doctrine of signature and how to they uh, preserve or collect the animal kingdom plant kingdom and then doctrine of signature so we'll be seeing at a glance i will say the important point please make a note of it so whole plant that is mainly collected in the flowering season when there is flower and partially in the bud during the sunny weather then the annual root that is collected in the early autumn because at that time only the vegetative process has been stopped and the um, con active constituents percentage will be more then biennial root that has been collected in the spring of the second year perennial root that has been collected in the second or the third year before they develop into woody fiber that's the matter then stem 
that is collected after the development of leaves then herbs that is collected uh, fully developed at the time of fully developed and it should be cut, uh, cut above the root young shoot that has been collected mainly in the spring season and when the whole plant is fully vigor or fully developed okay and then leaves it should be collected just before or during the early part of flowering time okay and then twigs that has been collected in the present year growth and then bulbs that has been collected partially in the bud and partially in the blossom mainly in the dry weather the fruit and seed that has been collected as soon as they matured okay when the leaf, uh, leaves are begin to decay and then then the succulent fruits that has been buried should be uh, used with the fresh fresh condition and dried fruit seeds and berries has been collected and stored in a well glass container then about the animal kingdom venoms that has been preserved in the glycerin which has obtained from the laboratory and which have the tendency of quickly dry and freeze so elaps and lacuses the elaps is the um, uh, medicine that the source has been prepared from sorry got from the venom collected by the compressing the butter plate against the fungs okay and or by letting the snake bite through the cloth covering in a wide mouth bottle lacus is it stunned the living snake is stunned with the blow okay and then venom is then collected on the sugar of milk by pressing the poison fung upward against the bat then about the protalus naja and vipera the venom is produced processed by compressing the gland okay and under the influence of chloroform then before on a this is the live animal it's a, the live animal is passed into slab on the crop by four strong pins in their webs of feet and the poles of indication is the apparent in action so from uh, while the animal is uh, the before on a the animal is collected the source is collected from when the animal is live and there is the slab of cork is press uh, given in the four strong pins through the web of feet okay then as soon as once that kept the poison is from uh, taken from the drosel glands candaris it mainly collected in the month of may or june mainly early in the morning so the uh, the particular collector has to be what uh, taken the pre, uh, pre precautions that need uh, he or she need to protect their ma uh, faces with mask and gloves uh, then there will be a cloth no linen cloth that should be spread under the uh, beneath the tree and the person has to be shake the uh, tree so the animal will be falling down upon the linen cloth and then this sieve has to be exposed in the boiling vinegar and uh, then it's dried in the sun or in the heated by a stove then about the doctrine of signature that is the relationship between the drug symptoms and the individual or uh, the characters of the particular thing that is award advocated by parcels the belladonna which is having the grow more in the calcium rich soil so it is became an complementary to calcarea carp and the tarantula that is the patient is very sensitive to music why because means the spiders comes out when the drums are beaten then digitalis it has blood disease that means it the flowers has some blood colored dots so it has been useful in the case of blood diseases ephrasia the uh, the ephrasia the flower has the corolla sorry the corolla has an appearance like a pupil so it is a good remedy for eyes then hypericum it has a red juice so because of that it may be useful in case of hemorrhages then plants which are collected in the damp weather rainy season and evening has a peculiar uh, influences uh, influence so it has been influenced on uh, modalities also and the bryonia is uh, prepared from the root 
and which is fleshy yellowish white in color with rough acidic and bitter taste so uh, taste so the bryonia patient is also has fleshy with yellowish white coated tongue rough irritating temperament and processing a bitter taste in mouth then that drug is prepared from the yellow flowers that is chelidonium why because means the chelidonium flowers has that yellowish color so it may, it may be act well or it has an influence on jaundice so it is uh, clinically also proved that the chelidonium is a good remedy for jaundice then night blooming cirrhosis that is also an nocturnal aggravation of all the symptom so that's all about the glands of uh, things so now in next class we are going to detail see about the sources of vegetable that is the plant kingdom alone uh, and the particular remedies thank you